all right it's time to play some balance druid here is the build and without further ado let's go ahead and get this started all right let's see if we can go for the berserker hopefully we can get it before somebody else does rabbit dang it it was so close yeah i kind of figured you were gonna get me out of stealth that's fine Dot everybody up once they get nearby. I probably should have just rooted her and then stolen the Berserker, but there was so many horde there and I didn't want to get jumped on by everybody. But right like that, so. Some of the trends for the big damage. Did they give us some big damage with the having trends out? Dot everybody up. Dropping Star Falls. Back into Eclipse. He's up to his Nether Ward. Let's go ahead and switch it off. Got everybody up. I've been actually really liking the Starfall build with the trends lately. It's actually been uh, like a lot better than I thought it was going to be. Like the damage you can do with this build is actually kind of awesome. Like, I'm just going to pop Trents right now, pop Mushrooms, Star Surge, Star Surge, and even with some defenses up on this corner, we just immediately get there. To be fair, we had a little bit of help, so I guess it's not the best demonstration, but I don't know. I feel about this build feels pretty nice, so. Definitely can't wait to try out the Boomkin changes in the next uh, patch as well. And this is with uh, me still using my feral set too, except for the weapon and all that. I still have, I have that switched out, but because uh, I need feral expansion, I don't have my weapon yet. I'll get that eventually. And I need, and I'm using technically, I'm using some mastery gear. So, which I guess if you're running like power rounds and stuff, mastery isn't bad, but you'd obviously want to get haste instead if possible. So, I'll still work on getting that boomkin set eventually. Alright, some of the trends. Yeah, that's right. Eat this dot damage. Eat this dot damage. He's down. I have incarnation back up once again. Dispel the curses. Good thing I didn't use incarnation. I was really tempted to use it there. Alright, to get some astral power out of the way. I want to wait for my trents. They're about to be up. Actually, let's just go ahead and use burst now. Why not? Summon the trents. Popping starfalls like a maniac. Unfortunately, there's two healers here. So, this is going to be kind of a pain in the butt. But, you know, it is what it is, right? get out of there and there's our fork out if they didn't have double healer there we could have probably aoe wiped a lot of them too because that could have root, root beamed the healer which I, i'll do right now they're stacked anyways yeah i got both healers in that double beam she trinkets though Uh, all right, summon the Trents again. He's down. Start surge, start surge. Into an eclipse again. Reapply dots. Get back into an eclipse again. Renewal. And with that, we pretty much win. Hopefully you guys enjoyed this video. Let me know what you guys think of the Starfall um, and Keepers of the Grove build. 
and uh, I will pretty much catch you guys for the next video. So many healers. To be honest, I really didn't need to use Incarnation last second, but I was hoping to get like one more kill, maybe. If I, if I had the trends probably last second, maybe we could have done something. Hundred and eighty-two million damage, let's go. See you guys later. Peace.